Hello my friends, welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video we will discover how giant ships are repaired and maintained. Giant ships are brought ashore for repair and maintenance using a variety of methods. One common technique is to use a dry dock, which is a large basin that can be flooded to allow ships to enter and then drained so that they can be worked on. A dry dock is a large basin-like structure that can be used to bring ships out of the water for repair, maintenance, and other work. The operation of a dry dock typically involves several steps including preparation, flooding, docking, draining, and undocking. With the dock flooded, the ship is brought into the dock and positioned using specialized equipment such as tugboats, cranes, and winches. Once in position, the ship is secured to the dock using a variety of methods such as ropes, chains, and clamps. Once the ship is securely in place, the dry dock is drained of water. This process may take several hours or even days, depending on the size of the dock and the ship. As the water is drained, the ship is gradually lowered onto supports or blocks that will hold it in place for the duration of the repair work. In some cases, ships can be repaired and maintained while still in the water using floating docks or other specialized equipment. These floating docks can be positioned next to the ship and then raised up to provide a dry workspace for workers. Regardless of the method used, bringing a giant ship ashore for repair and maintenance requires careful planning and coordination to ensure that the ship is safely and securely positioned for work to be carried out. It also involves a significant amount of specialized equipment and expertise to handle the massive size and weight of these vessels. Hydroblasting ship hulls is an important maintenance task that helps to ensure the safety and longevity of vessels. When it comes to hydroblasting ship hulls, it involves a team of highly skilled professionals, including dockmasters and dockboys. These individuals work together to ensure that the hull is cleaned thoroughly and efficiently, using high-pressure water jets to remove any dirt, debris, or marine growth that may have accumulated over time. The AM6 Magnetic Crawler is an innovative cleaning solution designed for the effective removal of marine growth and other forms of fouling from the hulls of FPSO, oil tankers, and other large marine vessels. Unlike traditional cleaning methods, which can damage the vessel's existing coating, the AM6 Magnetic Crawler cleans above and below the water without causing any harm. The AM6 magnetic crawler operates using a magnetic system that attaches it firmly to the hull of the vessel. This allows it to move easily across the surface of the hull, cleaning as it goes. The crawler is equipped with advanced cleaning technology, including high-pressure water jets and brushes, which remove even the toughest marine growth and fouling. In addition to its cleaning capabilities, the AM6 magnetic crawler is also designed with safety in mind. It can operate in all weather conditions, ensuring that cleaning tasks can be completed quickly and efficiently. The crawler is also fully automated, reducing the risk of accidents and improving worker safety. BMT Repairs recently completed a successful bow thruster replacement project for the Max Venture vessel. The Max Venture is a large vessel that required a replacement of its bow thruster, a crucial component that enables the ship to navigate through tight spaces. Firstly, the ship was parked close to the harbor, where the BMT Repairs team could access the bow thruster. The team then began the process of removing the old bow thruster, which involved detaching it from the ship's hull and disconnecting its electrical and hydraulic connections. Once the old bow thruster was removed, it was attached to a crane, which lifted it off the ship 
and brought it ashore for further inspection and repair. Meanwhile, the team began preparing the ship for the installation of the new bow thruster. This involved welding a new bracket to the ship's hull to hold the new bow thruster in place. The team then used the crane to lift the new bow thruster back onto the ship and carefully installed it in the designated position. After the new bow thruster was installed, the BMT repairs team reconnected its electrical and hydraulic connections and conducted a series of tests to ensure that it was functioning correctly. The team also conducted sea trials to verify the bow thruster's performance under various conditions, ensuring that the ship was safe and ready to return to service. This video shows the retrofit installation of the energy-saving device Becker Mewis Duct Twisted, fitted to the Hamburg Sud 7100 TEU container vessel Santa Rita in Rotterdam. The first step in the process was to conduct a 3D scanning of the geometry of the stern to ensure a precise fit for the twisted fins. This was critical to ensure that the fins would perform optimally and result in energy savings for the vessel. Once the 3D scanning was completed, the Becker twisted fins were delivered, and preparations were made for adjusting the fins to fit the vessel's specifications. This involved careful tailoring of the fins to ensure that they were the right shape and size to fit the vessel. Preparation fin adjustment involves making sure the Becker twisted fins are ready to be fitted to the vessel. This step can involve trimming or adjusting the fins to ensure a perfect fit with the stern geometry. Tailoring fins is the process of making sure the fins are the correct shape and size to fit the vessel's specifications. The fins must be carefully measured and adjusted to ensure they will function optimally and generate energy savings for the vessel. Final positioning is a critical step in the installation process. The fins must be positioned in the correct location on the vessel's stern to ensure they will function effectively. This step requires great care and precision to ensure that the fins are securely attached to the vessel and in the optimal location for maximum energy savings. IR scanning preheating temperature involves using infrared technology to scan the area where the fins will be welded to the vessel. Welding is the next step in the installation process. It involves using high-quality welding techniques to securely attach the fins to the vessel. Welding requires a great deal of skill and precision to ensure that the fins are properly attached and will function optimally to generate energy savings for the vessel. 
magnetic particle testing and ultrasonic testing were conducted to ensure that the welds were of high quality and that the fins were securely attached to the vessel. This was an important step to ensure that the fins would perform optimally and result in energy savings for the vessel. The retrofit resulted in energy savings of 3% for this particular vessel. The Becker flap rudder is a highly effective propulsion system component that offers improved maneuverability and control for ships. Here's how it works in various operational scenarios. Turning circle. The Becker flap rudder can also improve a ship's turning circle. By using the flap to create more force, the rudder can turn the ship more quickly and with greater precision. This means that the ship can execute turns more efficiently, reducing the amount of space needed to complete a turn and improving the ship's overall maneuverability. Course Keeping The Becker flap rudder is also useful for maintaining a course. The flap can be adjusted to provide the necessary force to keep the ship on track, even in adverse weather conditions. This makes it easier for the captain to maintain a steady course and ensure that the ship stays on track. Emergency Maneuvering in emergency situations, the Becker flap rudder can help a ship to make sudden and precise turns. The flap on the trailing edge of the rudder can be rotated independently of the rudder blade, creating a greater force to turn the ship. This means that the ship can respond quickly to unexpected events, such as avoiding a collision with another vessel or avoiding an obstacle in the water. Harbor maneuvering. In tight spaces, such as harbors or ports, the Becker flap rudder offers excellent maneuverability. The flap can be adjusted to provide precise control, allowing the ship to navigate through narrow channels and make tight turns. This is especially important for large vessels that can be difficult to maneuver in confined spaces. Becker Marine Systems was involved in the MS Amera project, which involved the retrofitting of a flap rudder to a cruise ship. The project was ambitious, as the rudder had to be designed, manufactured, and installed within six months, and there was no possibility of making any changes to the shipyard. The engineering for the rudder was completed in Vigo, northern Spain, and steel with a thickness of up to 35 millimeters was welded until it became part of one of the most important components of any ship. The team's essential task was quality control, and several quality tests were carried out to ensure the highest possible quality. The final step involved painting the finished trunk weighing over six tons before it was shipped to Hamburg, Germany. The flap rudder was one of the most modern rudders in the world, and the unique rudder profile with its flap combined with the optimal use of the propeller cover made the ship much more maneuverable. The old rudder was removed and replaced with the new rudder system, which significantly improved the ship's maneuverability.
During the installation process, the old rudder was the first large component to be removed, and a hole was cut in the stern for the installation of the new rudder. The new rudder system is literally the linchpin of the extensive renovation, and the ship's semi-spade rudders were replaced with flap rudders, which include a main rudder blade with a movable flap at the end of the profile. This significantly improves the ship's maneuverability. The installation process of Becker Marine Systems involves a number of steps that are critical to ensuring that the system is installed properly and operates effectively. The installation process typically starts with a site survey, which is performed to determine the specific requirements of the installation site. This survey helps to identify any potential obstacles or challenges that may need to be addressed during the installation process. Once the site survey is complete, the installation team will begin to prepare the site for the installation of the Becker Marine Systems. This may involve the construction of a foundation or other support structure, as well as the installation of any necessary electrical or communication systems. The installation team will also need to ensure that the site is level and that the surrounding area is clear of any obstacles or debris. The next step in the installation process is the installation of the actual Becker Marine Systems equipment. This equipment is typically shipped in pre-assembled modules, which can be quickly and easily installed on site. The modules are designed to be easily connected together, allowing the installation team to quickly and efficiently assemble the entire system. Once the system is assembled, the installation team will begin the process of testing and commissioning the system. This involves a series of tests to ensure that the system is functioning properly and that all components are working together as they should. The testing process typically involves a combination of manual tests and automated tests, which are designed to identify any potential issues or problems that may need to be addressed. Once the testing and commissioning process is complete, the Becker Marine Systems is ready for operation. The installation team will typically provide training to the crew or staff who will be responsible for operating the system, ensuring that they are fully familiar with the system's operation and maintenance requirements. Meticulous quality control was applied during every step of the design, manufacturing, and installation process to ensure that everything fit exactly into the construction and time schedule. The team understood that any mistake during transport or installation would be devastating, and the manufactured rudder trunk did not allow any defects. Overall, the process was a success, and the flap rudder from Becker Marine Systems is now one of the most modern rudders in the world. Cavet Cleaner is a tool designed to clean the propellers of ships and other underwater vessels. It works by creating a cavitation bubble around the propeller, which causes dirt and other debris to be dislodged from the blades. This method of cleaning is highly effective and efficient, as it can be done quickly without requiring the vessel to be taken out of the water. To use the cavet cleaner, the tool is attached to a diver, who then maneuvers it around the propeller blades. The cavitation bubbles created by the tool effectively scrub away any buildup or debris that may be present on the blades, leaving them clean and smooth.
Regular propeller cleaning is essential to ensure the optimal performance of a vessel, as buildup on the blades can reduce fuel efficiency and cause other operational issues. The use of a cavet cleaner can help to streamline the cleaning process, saving time and reducing costs. The maintenance process on the Mokegua chemical tanker involved several stages and tasks, each of which was critical to ensure the vessel's optimal operation and safety. The first stage of the maintenance process involved cleaning the hull of the tanker to remove any accumulated debris, marine growth or other substances that could cause drag and reduce the vessel's efficiency. The cleaning process was conducted using high-pressure water jets and specialized cleaning solutions that are environmentally friendly. After cleaning, the next stage was the inspection of the hull and machinery. This inspection involved examining the tanker's structural integrity, checking for any signs of corrosion, cracks, or other damages that could affect the vessel's seaworthiness. Similarly, the machinery, including the engines, pumps, and other critical systems, were also inspected to ensure they were functioning correctly and not at risk of failure. The next stage involved replacing any faulty or damaged parts identified during the inspection stage. This task required a team of skilled technicians who worked to replace parts such as valves, pipes, and electrical components. The replacement of these parts ensured that the vessel's systems were functioning correctly and reduced the risk of mechanical failure during operations. Finally, the last stage of the maintenance process was the testing of the systems. This stage involved conducting various tests to ensure that the repaired and replaced systems were functioning correctly. For instance, the engines were tested to ensure they were producing the required power, and the pumps were checked to ensure they were pumping the correct amount of liquid. Similarly, the navigation and communication systems were also tested to ensure they were in good working order.